Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. I'm headed to work, not with my Tesla Model 3 though. I have my first EV, my 2017 Zero electric motorcycle FXS with a 6.5 kilowatt hour battery. Let's ride. All right, made it to work here. I took Route 355, Frederick Road, from uh, Gaithersburg down through Silver Spring, where I work at. Went from 100% down to 73%. So I used about 27% of the battery. Uh, again, a 6.5 kilowatt hour battery. Trip average, 49 and a half watt hours per mile, and at 21.6 miles. So on the way home, I'll uh, show you what the efficiency is and some of the stats on uh, taking the highway home. All right, just got home from work here. Let's take a look at what we ended up with. We have 34% battery remaining and the total trip to work and back ended up being 43.2 miles using 59.1 watt hours per mile. Uh, that should be an increase from this morning as I took the highway home and my average speed was much faster, probably closer to 70 miles per hour on the way home versus uh, 30, 35, 40 on the way to work this morning. Uh, you'll notice I'm in sport mode here. An estimated range of 20.9 miles left. So that would give us a, a total range of uh, about 65 miles on the bike and again it's a mix of highway and local roads if you just do the local roads probably could push toward 100 miles and if it's just highway it's probably closer to 30 miles lifetime average 74.4 uh, much more highway riding uh, over the 2400 miles i've done uh, error codes if there are some uh, this is just the kickstand down i believe uh, rpms of the motor not moving zero and trip one Again, this is the 6.5 kilowatt hour Zero FXS electric motorcycle, supermoto style, uh, Street Fighter with the Z-Force ZF 6.5 lithium ion battery. Love this bike, belt drive, uh, nice sporty tires that grip really well. Um, it's really easy to uh, maneuver this bike around in tight locations like a city environment. Uh, that's why I loved it, um, rather than a big heavy bike. Uh, out in the wind, it might not do as well as a heavier bike, but uh, definitely in the urban environment, this thing is the way to go. You could dodge potholes, other cars, whatever. All right, so showing you what the bike dash looks like when you're running. The red light just means that the engine stop switch is off. I'll turn it on. We'll get a green light. We're ready to go. I run the high beam all the time. And we'll see an output and a regen. The bars for output when you have the power on and the torque on. And when you let off, the bike does have a really nice regen to put some energy back in the battery. Here we go. There's some regen. different modes here I'm in sport mode right now so uh, most of the engine power goes to accelerating and uh, top speed you have a higher top speed in sport mode there is an eco mode uh, lower top speed I believe it caps out around 70 um, lower top speed and you can generate more energy on the regen and then a custom mode and you can set the custom mode within the app, the Zero app. The bike has a regular 120 volt charging cord and it charges with a 650 watt charger. So definitely not the fastest charger. Definitely want to plug it in overnight when you want to fill it up. 
Uh, they do make a faster charger, quick charger adapter. Uh, I do not have that. When you want to plug it in, you just pull the cap here on the right hand side of the bike and plug in the cord. And now we're charging the bike. You can see by the flashing charging button, we have 35% remaining and it tells you the current time and how much longer it will take to charge. So to fill me back up to 100%, 6 hours and 23 minutes. All right, here's the Zero app. You can see here on the main dashboard a picture of the bike, the year, make, and model, the current state of charge, the average watt hours per mile over the life of the bike, time to full charge if it was plugged in, total kilowatt hours used, and total amount of CO2 reduced versus gasoline. All right, I've plugged the bike in here for the battery screen in the app. You can see three hours and 40 minutes time to full charge. The current state of charge is 56%. It is charging at 5 amps and 520 watts. The total kilowatt hours used for the life of the bike, 47. Cell balance, 5 millivolts. Uh, 104 is the current battery volts and 15 charge cycles. The battery is rated up to 2,500 charge cycles per zero. Here on the performance screen, you can see how many miles you have ridden since the last charge, 42 here. You can see how many kilowatt hours used, 2.66. The average watt hours per mile for the current trip since it was last charged. And the money saved versus gasoline and cost per mile. Look at that, one penny per mile. That's incredible. All right, here on the custom ride setup screen, you can see some of the options you can set up for your custom ride. Max speed you can set. Uh, looks like it's showing up to 110, although the FXS only goes up into the 80s. You can set your max torque up to 100%. Uh, your neutral regeneration, 100%. And the brake regeneration percentage up to 100%. All right, here's a look at the ride screen. You can actually use your phone uh, when you're riding the Zero. So you can see here it shows uh, distance to empty, the current state of charge. It would show your miles per hour that are in the center. It would show your watts used and your amps being used. One of the cool things about Zero motorcycles is you can update the firmware over the air using your cell phone. So this is what it looks like, the firmware manager. You, in the app, you can just check for a new firmware. You can see here for my bike, it does have a new firmware that uh, I can load into the bike. And this is uh, the screen where I could do that from. I would just check the prerequisites and then I would go ahead and start the firmware update. And this is the view when you are actually in the progress of updating your firmware. You would see the version of the main bike board and the BMS, the battery management system that's going to be installed in your motorcycle. And you'll see the progress bars there going from left to right as the these firmwares are updated. So how much did I pay for my Zero? Well, in May of 2017, the MSRP was $10,495, and I was able to talk the dealer down to $9,900 plus tax. That total was $10,766.25 plus motor vehicle fees. And then I got a 10% federal tax credit back in 2018, which saved me $990. Love taking the Zero. I definitely highly recommend it. Take one for a test ride at your local Zero dealer sometime, and you'll love it.